With so much attention given to deeply held and divisive stereotypes, biases and outright racism, many of us feel limited in our ability and confidence to talk about race and racism and how to respond to it in the moment and after. When you centre the voices of people with lived experiences, the narrative will change. You can, you can bank on that. The narrative will change. If you have ever avoided talking about race, racial injustice and racial equity, or you felt ill-equipped to do so, this course is for you. You'll increase your knowledge about race and racism and develop the skills to understand different histories, identities and concepts of race and racism in a way that validates and values diverse cultural, historical and contemporary experiences. You'll learn about the dynamics of cultural difference and how to increase your knowledge and ability to address inequities, biases and privilege. You know, people always ask about, you know, what, what does racism mean to you? What does, what does racism, um, how have you experienced racism? And there's not a moment that I can remember where I haven't experienced racism. The course will explore various themes and issues to increase understanding about race and racism, as well as provide practical tools to develop more confidence in engaging in conversations about race and racism and to become more actively anti-racist. We're lucky to have a diverse group of inspirational people contributing their knowledge and experience to help us think differently and reflectively about how we understand race and racism. I've been trained to be quiet, you know, by my own culture and by the dominant culture. And it takes a lot to get those conversations going and to know when to talk and when to be quiet. This course will help develop skills to critically self-reflect on how you have been racialized and how your own culture, identities, histories and assumptions inform and affect your ability to engage in these issues. The course draws on different cultural and theoretical traditions to equip you with the ability to participate in impactful, transformative and confident conversations on race and racism and move to further concrete action. We might be so focused on shaping our personal habits to be right and shaping our own personal habits uh, to be good that we neglect the fact that there are policies out there that actually disable us from being kind and being good to one another. So I guess the we can see the limitations as being over-focused on either the personal, the interpersonal or the systemic to the neglect of the other two dimensions.